All week, black smoke has been billowing over the airport. While there was no emergency, crews were training in case there was. Normally, the airport fire department trains twice a year, but this week was a bonus because there's new additions to the fire crew roster. As the fake plane goes up in flames, Jeff Stocks and the airport fire department hit the road. The idea is sort of to rain it onto the crash site and um, it smothers the fire and keeps it from spreading and keeps it from sparking up again. This is part of a month-long crash course for Stocks, who joined the airport fire department in November. What we have is a 5,000 square foot area that we can light on fire. Uh, what we're going to be using is a training fire fuel that will light on fire for you. Okay, on your exercise. Usually there are fire exercises in June and September every year, but this week was a bonus. These are uh, new recruits that we're bringing online, so this has been a special training session for the last month for them. The airport is mandated by Transport Canada to ensure all airport personnel are trained and certified to fight aircraft fire. Chief Daryl Mulder is looking for truck positioning, how crews handle the winds, and how well they protect the fuselage. You've got this fire, as we mentioned before, how the stream would work as your foam here, right? right? And you can see how that foam still is holding and how that foam worked on knocking down yeah. your fuel fire. YXS has three airport operations specialists, or fire crews, on staff during flying hours. They are the first responders if there were to be a plane crash or fire. Our runway falls on regional district land and the city of Prince George land. So um, we fight only uh, aircraft fires and um, we cannot touch structure fires on, uh, on YXS property. In Chief Mulder's seven year tenure, he's never had a plane fire, but they're prepared just in case. If we have an aircraft in trouble or they're an alt, we're called an alternate, we could actually have a 747 come in loaded with passengers, which can be 300 people. So we have to be prepared to deal with those situations. It's definitely a little bit nerve wracking because uh, you just kind of want to get the right angle and the perfect uh, angle of attack. And um, it's warm inside. Yeah, it's definitely hot in there. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.